didn't already for some reason know, a yellow star thistle is an invasive species. You may fam be familiar with its scientific name, Centauria solstice. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I can't say that, and we don't expect you even to know anything about this plant. The yellow star thistle is native to the Mediterranean basin region. Does it look familiar? There's approximately a 50% chance you've seen this flower in your life. Why? Because it takes up approximately 15 million acres of land in just California. As of the rest of the U.S., well, t take a look for yourself. The weed was introduced to California in around 1850 via South America and has been here ever since. By this point, you're probably thinking, what's the big deal about some invasive plant from Europe? Well, then I'll ask you this. Do you like horses? If your answer is yes, te well, technically it should be yes, but, you know, let's be honest here. But if it is yes, and you haven't been paying attention to this video, and you're risking the life of an innocent horse somewhere in California, because if one eats a yellow star thistle, it will get a nervous disorder called chewing disease, which is fatal once symptoms develop. Killing horses isn't the only crime this weed has committed. It has also formed dense infestations and rapidly depletes soil moisture, which prevents the establishment of other species. The thistle is typically found in open areas on roadsides, rangeland, wildlands, hay fields, pastures, and waste areas. Seeds are often spread easily by vehicles or with the transportation of livestock in contaminated soil. Sadly, controlling the yellow star thistle can't be accomplished with a single treatment or in a single year. But don't worry. <laughs> Four natural enemies of yellow star thistle have been imported from Europe and by 2003 were well established in California. These biological control agents include two weevil and two flies. They all attack the seed and directly or indirectly reduce seed production. Post-emergent and pre-emergent herbicides are available to control yellow star thistle along non-crop areas. Officials should really raise further awareness about the weed and release further ways to contain it. Maybe they're the ones who don't care about horses. In case you're you ever enjoying a beautiful earth remember to look out for a gray green to blue green plant with a deep vigorous taproot that produces bright thistle like yellow flowers with sharp spines surrounding the base yellow star thistle grows to the height varying from six inches to five feet the stems and leaves are covered with a loose cottony wool that gives them a whitish appearance this is how they look when seeding if you see one either pull it or cut the yellow part off the plant and dispose of it each plant can make 75,000 seeds.